What is up, everybody on YouTube? Coke Commentaries is back again. Yes, more than one a year. I'm surprised myself. But we have a special treat for you all. We are going to be watching Disney's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. We are only going to be uploading our commentary tracks because with it being Disney, this is just begging for a copyright strike. This way, though, you can watch us that you can watch the video on your own without having to deal with our annoying voices over it. Seriously, why do you even click on a commentary video if you don't want to hear the people doing the commentary? But I'm getting ahead of myself. But yeah, I will make sure to put like proper uh, time codes and everything if I can. But yeah, so if everybody on uh, the, sh the video, so here we go. At zero 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 zero, three, two, one, play. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wrong cartoon. You sure? I thought I saw a frog in this show before. <laughs> I've never actually read the original book. Is it, a, actually, is it like a long story or is it a short story? I think it's a short it's story. Oh. Yeah. It's like very short. Guy named Makeabot Crane goes to Sleepy Hollow. Fights a guy with no head. Loses. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Print it! <laughs> A ghost book! <laughs> oh, so oh, it's already scary already. I totally keep forgetting that this is the new, like the old New York. I, for the longest time, I thought this was like in uh, England hmm. or something. Yeah, same here. Deep in the New York City. <laughs> ah, what a difference it was back when the back when nature was plentiful. There wasn't pollution in the air. I don't even think we had a president yet at this time. Oh, he's a crappy one. And, of course, before Bill Cosby was found out to be a child abuser. Let's not get into that, regardless of how we feel. Well, I just, yeah. Let's, let's, let's keep politics away from our our Halloween experience. Yeah. 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 No You can just mm. expect to hear that like, she was just going. <laughs> Watch out for that tree! Jack Skellington. That's actually like how I used to walk as a kid. I used to walk and like slap my feet on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I were. Now, if I recall, actually, I think Disney took the inspiration of uh, Ichabod Crane having his face in the book while mm -hmm. walking through town during this to use it again in Beauty and the Beast. I think so. Yeah, I think it does sound familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they do have a history of pretty much reusing animation. Well, it's not that they reuse the animation, they just reuse the concept. Yeah. Now, I know. Robin Hood, though, I think is probably one of the worst offenders of reusing animation. I know, it was obvious. Yeah. It's, it's like it's like for use we're using Jungle Book made sense because Baloo was pretty much little John with mm -hmm. it looking more like a regular bear. Yeah. The bits of Snow White made sense. But when they reuse Aristocats in that movie, it was like I remember I was like, Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> booze, people, booze. <laughs> that is one sexy twig. I actually remember one of the other reused animation ones was like uh, the 101 Dalmatians going on to like the Aristocats. They actually like, I think they repeated the scene with like the cow going back. Nope, 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 so much nope. <laughs> That's a bad book. Get the fuck back in there. <laughs> Move, bitch. Get out of the way. Oh, hi, George Jessen and Drag. <laughs> I think this is one of the only times that Ichabod actually speaks in the whole thing. Granted, though. Yeah. 
that shows how good this has been. People don't have to talk every five seconds to get a story across. Yeah. And apparently this shows that uh, Ichabod is the d uh, ancestor of Shaggy Rogers because he's able to eat so much and never get fat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like Zoink Scooper and Sleepy Hollow Man! I don't want to see the headless over there. Me, me, Raggy! I wanted to make a Scrappy Doo joke, but Scrappy Doo sucks. <laughs> now he's being all nice now, but after the after this meeting with his parents, the very next day, smack, 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 smack. <laughs> Our hero, ladies and gentlemen, a monthly swindling womanizing asshole. <laughs> At least here he's presented as a lot more uh, likable than in other versions I've seen. Because that. I remember that uh, CGI version from like 1999. I watched a little bit of that after you. Yeah, Night of the Headless earlier. Horseman. And in that, he mm -hmm. is a. Yeah, he, in that he is a, like a lot less, you know, nice. And he's just more blatant. It's like. He even pretty much interferes with Brom Bones and Katrina saying, I'll marry you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Like putty in my hands. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Jeez, did I really hit that octave that high? Oh god, let me hold on. My train two. frame my bows for God's sakes. One, two, and three. And three. Okay, I'm all good. The aliens invaded! And in comes Katrina, the woman with the three-inch waist. <laughs> Seriously, I've heard of tying your waist to enhance your figure, but god damn, you're about to break yourself! <laughs> You'd be like a little twig, i just snap you like, there you go, you're gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny how she's actually dressed like this, but back then, I don't think that they actually would have allowed, she would have been allowed to go out like this if she wasn't rich, because, like, look at how much of her ankles she's showing. Yeah. Back then, <laughs> you were considered a whore if you did that. I know, right? She's like, but she's like, bitch, I'm rich. I can get away with it. <laughs> Don't eat my ass! <laughs> Gives a new meaning of eat an entire ass. And the term choking on chicken. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how she doesn't even care that he's dead on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> That poor little girl student, she's just under her, kitchen, her desk, just bit worried for her life. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Icky, are you sure this is love and it's not just your boner talking? <laughs> like, right there. <laughs> Gold! What do you think this food is? Made of money? <laughs> I'm a twig, but even she but she still has a thinner waist than me. <laughs> How does that even work? <laughs> Wait, an idea! Ching! Sparkle sparkle. Maybe I can finally be fat. <laughs> Our hero, ladies and gentlemen. Our hero. <laughs> I love you, money. I mean, <laughs> Katrina. Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to make a sneezing noise, too. I was gonna go... Yep. Hey, don't do that! Oh, here comes Major Cockblock. <laughs> Get out of here, Lafui. <laughs> ah, not all makes sense, I see. No one scares away country bumpkins like Gaston. There we go, maybe we've got a bigger chest, and okay, we're all set to go. Hey, don't talk about the country bumpkins that way. Yeah, don't talk about the country bumpkins that way. Don't talk about my bumpkin. That's how I steer my ship. <laughs> of course, by the time she steps on it, it's already sucked up all the money. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you stole my girl! I was girl. kind of explaining that one scene from uh, Hard Days Night where Ringo, you know, puts his coat over a puddle for her to go for the lady to go through. She steps on it and suddenly it's actually a big sinkhole. <laughs> It's not even just, it's not the fact that this was a gift from Katrina that makes Ichabod so happy. It's the fact that she pulled it out from between her tits that makes him so happy. <laughs> like, this is, I've got, of course I've gotten to touching her boobs. <laughs> boobs, don't and fail it's... me now! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go faster, 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 faster! Bones carrying all those packages. That's probably how Amazon <laughs> felt delivering stuff to me over the last year. <laughs> <laughs> like, does he really need these 12 figure arts figures from Japan? <laughs> or they just be the sound. It's going to become around. Oh! My potatoes! Oh, God. <laughs> Man, that was his own private Idaho. Potato. Please tell me that was his nose that he's just squeezed. If that's not, then that has to be a very high penis. <laughs> oh, Hiroshima! I don't know either, folks. I just do the commentaries with them. He's <laughs> like, nope! <laughs> oh, thank you so much! These are just like the flowers that I have in my face in my in my hallway. In fact, th they are! They even have oh, the Made in oh, China stamp oh, still yeah. on them. <laughs> What's the password?
Ow! Everything but my legs! It's new spin on an old classic. <laughs> yeah, Mom, see Later, know. hater! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> but I'm just so thinking, it's like, as he was walking out, I was like, I represent the lollipop zone, the lollipop zone! <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you boys. <laughs> Always watching. Huh. Looks like Katrina's horse threw a shoe. Gotta put it down. Yeah, horseshoe. Good luck. <laughs> no, that was a good luck. His face. Yep. I'm not, I'm not just pausing. Oh, look at that. Ichabod picked up one of those cherries from 3D World. <laughs> so it was at this point that oh, Bro wait. Bones knew <laughs> that someone, somewhere, uh. was about to die. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> Next letter. Dear Mr. Robinson, I'll figure it out sometime later. <laughs> it didn't bite me. <laughs> you know, what's really weird, I actually thought about this, is that it's really obvious that Ichabod is a you know, very, uh, you know, potent in superstition, yet he has no problem having a broken mirror. I guess maybe it's like if you didn't break it yourself, it's not it. bad luck. Yeah. Yeah, because if you break it, it's seven years bad luck. I do cocaine! <laughs> I do cocaine! <laughs> also, I didn't know they had multiplication back in those days, let alone being able yeah. to have it be where you could have it go into the thousands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ichabod, I don't want to go! <laughs> well, we had one called Sea Biscuit in the past, so it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I could still have that, and I had the headless horseman still stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody mopes like Gaston. Something that I'm actually been thinking about, I don't know why I was thinking about it, I was like, oh yeah, there's no blatant Disney princess rip -off. I was like, wait, this is Disney, so it wouldn't make <laughs> oh, sense if Oh, don't I'm mind here. if I do, Shani? I thought like you were going to sit on it again. I'm like, I'm, I'm like that stupid <laughs> Titanic cartoon, like, fuck those things. Oh, yeah, those were dark times. I'll never forget when you actually started blowing chunks when it was a real tentacles was alive. <laughs> well, well, not literally. Well, but it sure sounded like it. You, you, you definitely earned an Oscar for I just realized I was holding on to the yeah. wrong mic the whole time. <laughs> Still going strong. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at him go! <laughs> Daffy Duck, what are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember who played it, but I just think if there was a live action version made in the 90s, I could have totally pictured that character being played by, uh, what's her name? The woman who played Miss oh. Swan in Mad TV. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Swan. <laughs> this is like a job for the internet. As, it, as it come, I was bobbing up and down, I was like, shoot the crane, win a prize! <laughs> <laughs> step right up, step right up! Alex Bornstein. That's her name. Uh, Same person who played um, uh, Lois on Family Guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once you guys a hold on your shit, let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> oh. Uh. It's a trap door. Oh yeah. Oh crap. <laughs> 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 I don't know whether to feel bad for her or not, because, I mean, she's clearly not sad right now, but <laughs> the one man yep. who wanted to dance with her is gone. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of sausages. Ooh, get down with your bad self. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, now we're getting to one of the best parts. Ooh, this is getting good. <laughs> Yeah. And one for you and one for me. One for me and one for me. One for me and one for me. <gasps> if you spill salt, throw it over your shoulder or you won't live to be much older. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh my god, they're actually talking. This is a first. <laughs> In about how long? Oh, yeah. I love how everybody's faces is just like I love everyone's yeah. just like, woo, through the whole thing. <laughs> Voldemort? Hey, aren't you supposed to be in Ratatouille by now? <laughs> Talk about a sudden change of mood. <laughs> that loud scream right there? That loud scream? That was actually Ichabod. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have this song on my MP3 player. Someone must have been watching those for Rob too. <laughs> I'm actually picking with this costume. He's like, that's the same way he describes Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I remember carefully, he's the one who actually makes the deal with uh, the Headless Horseman to take out of the Ichabod <laughs> Parade, if I remember carefully the original story. True. But and but in uh, this version, it's never said like whether he makes the deal with the horseman, if it's like him in disguise, horsey, if it's the, the natural thing, or if like it's just Ichabod's superstition getting the best of him. But I actually have a fun, I actually have like a funny fan theory, like, <laughs> obviously fake. But what if it's neither of those, and it's actually Katrina in disguise chasing him? It's like you fell down on purpose. Get the fuck out of my town. <laughs> That's a good drink, senor. <laughs> yeah, no, if I remember the original story, yeah, he was the one who makes a deal with the Headless Horseman, but in trade, pretty much by the time um, the person who he loved and married dies, he loses his head and becomes the Headless Horseman himself. <laughs> now this part right here is crucial for later. I know some people, will, I'll talk about when we get there. <laughs> That's a spicy egg ball. <laughs> He's now marinating in his own ragu. Spooky Fortress on loan from the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs set. <laughs> oh. Watch that what happens. Like, this isn't the way that Ichabod came to the party just for some stupid reason. Van Tassel, like, closed the right road so he has to go mm -hmm. the long way. Like, the studio near where I live does when, like, they have big games. They close down a major street which, mm -hmm. like, shuts down, like, like twenty five percent of the city where I live. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when they mm -hmm. blocked off Central Park West and Ghostbusters. I remember like by blocking that, they shut down like sixty percent of Manhattan. <laughs> I'm a big brave dog. I'm a big brave dog. I'm a big brave dog. Oh, I 
I love that shot right there of the, of the clouds <laughs> clasping on the moon. I love yeah, it looks, that. I never noticed that. It looks just like a hand. Yeah, it's I think to be was like, that yeah, the two intention? Hands, like grabbing the moon together and yes. pretty much just covering it up where it's in pure darkness. Huh. Like the, like to cover yeah. the whole place in darkness. <laughs> It's, it's like the moon is fading. Hey, hey foliage. Hey, hey. God damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gunpowder, whatever you do, do not lift your tail up right now. Do not lift your tail up. <laughs> I think Gunpowder just doesn't give a shit about anything. He's just, like, keeping the same expression the whole time. <laughs> Ghastly, isn't it? Cricket stuff. Well, this will get interesting. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, hey, there's the frog. <laughs> it's just fire flakes. <laughs> I can imagine a bus going like, that ass is really starting to hit me. What wise er. I'm just a, you know, I'm just... Then it comes the crocodile that eats them. Oh, hey, there's the... I was gonna say that! that thing that was from Winnie Pooh's <laughs> Blustery Day. I'm just imagining, like, seeing that all right now, just sort of having a little thing from Rock Bob or Spudge Bob, where he's just like... Yeah. And he's just trying to, like, try to, try to <laughs> run from the thing where it's just like... <laughs> Boy, son, you're really flexible. <laughs> I'm an old man now. <laughs> Swiggity swoody, I went for that booty. I call that the pretzel snake. <laughs> DDP yoga. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what? His, his head even made a three. I think his head even yeah. made a full 360 before he yeah. yoga. <laughs> I don't give a crap, Ichabod. I just want to get some sleep. Ah, <laughs> uh, so this is what the culprit was. It was corn dogs. <laughs> I think we all can pretty much agree the same that we all thought those were hot dogs back then. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, and like, like mommy, why do they put? I didn't know hot dogs grew on plants. They don't. That's just. I told you not to be stupid. Just like you're not getting a birthday That's this year. <laughs> yep, that ass is really starting to kick in for Ichabod. <laughs> <laughs> I am so high right now. <laughs> I'm actually just picturing like for what happens around here, like they're laughing, yeah. and then. Like with the headless horse, and he's like, I thought they were hot dogs too! <laughs> yeah, I think both gunpowder, uh, gunpowder and uh, it goes like, but just goes, it was at this moment that they knew they fucked up. Uh, okay, I swear that I swear that scream yeah. is the same one they use for Pluto. I think it's kind of funny that you can actually still use that uh, laughing effect from the headless horse and still in movies and uh, stuff to this day. I remember actually having that as a laugh <laughs> effect for uh, whenever something scary would happen on 3D Movie Maker. It was one of the default screams. <laughs> so, so now with this Oh shit <laughs> Surprise motherfucker <laughs> Everyone's wondering Everyone's like Why can't he kill Ichabod He's swinging it's like he doesn't have a head He can't see He's just swinging by like I think somebody's there Am I killing you <laughs> You're dead right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Go 
gunpowder, you idiot! <laughs> oh, I see you want to die right now. <laughs> Man, I'm thinking all of this just because the. It's like. <laughs> you betrayed me! They had those horsemen. Uh, like, I didn't want to uh, candy corn for Halloween! I never gave you any. That's no excuse! I blame you! The headless horsemen seats of candy! Now, now, with what happens here, a lot of people are wondering, since Ichabod crossed the bridge, how did he still die? Well, if you think about it, there are two, like, logical things I'm thinking of. Like, one, as you notice, there were still the posts that were holding up the bridge. Maybe you have to make it completely past all of those for it to make, to be in effect. However, the other thing is, the horseman himself didn't cross the yeah. bridge, and instead he threw the pumpkin. Maybe that was like his uh, desperation attack, like in Castlevania Rondo of Blood. <laughs> He's still laughing because he thought they were hot dogs, too. That was a yeah. cheery way to end a horror story. <laughs> hey, good night, folks. Ah, 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 ah. All right, so that was Disney's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Still holds up quite well to this day. Yep. I take all your candy now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you all next time for whatever our next commentary is. Will it have all four of us? Hopefully. If not, who knows? It might not have any of us. Maybe someone else will take over my channel and I'll be a sad panda. With that being said, uh, happy Halloween.